goal scorers. Uh, I love having all four of you see everything there so you can get feedback, you can ask questions, they can ask questions, yeah, and you've got access to it. Scores. And sometimes these pieces get a little nutty, as you know, this is the second year theory. Group. So these are the 12 tone pieces. And so sometimes it's nice to be able to see what else is going on, keep track of where you are. <laughs> Do whatever you want to do creatively with stands and okay. pages and all of that. Yeah. Should we just stand so we can rotate over? Um, we might have to stop somewhere and move. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we do that too. That part, right? Absolutely. What if we do two stands and shift somewhere? Okay. Or do you want to try and get it in here? No, we can okay. do it. Actually, maybe we can do it. You think we can do it? Yeah, it's not that bad. You can scoot that First, away. Let's, uh, let's all get to know each other. Okay. Students, tell them who you are. Jose. I'm Jose and. I'm Clara. I'm Clara. Clara. I'm Jackson. Hi, Jackson. Brian. And can you tell us not just your names, but <laughs> what you do in life with music these days? Sure. <laughs> My name is Bajan Nora, and I'm a freelance musician, so I play some weddings and with a bunch of different orchestras and then I also teach private lessons and teach, I'm a para professional in the Edmond School District for music. Uh, my name is Bill. I mostly teach violin and viola lessons and uh, I do some uh, extreme chart writing and stuff like that for different projects. Uh, my name is Aleda, and like Bayesian, I'm a freelancer, and I do a lot of, in addition to orchestral string quartet stuff, I also do a lot of pop music and playing in bands. Uh, uh, my name is Lauren. Uh, I am also a teacher, sometimes freelancer, uh, a little bit of everything these days. Um, yeah, and we've all played together in various different combinations of things. True. Uh, three of us, I think, was that last week? No, two weeks ago. Played a pride show or orchestra show actually up um, at a last, last year, thank you, um, doing our orchestral kind of pop show. Um, but yeah, all sorts of different things together. <laughs> cool. Yeah. All right, well, you are here with the second year theory students, yes. and as you recall from past adventures, they have been asked to write a piece based on a 12 tone row. They used the matrix. They were told to uh, present the prime form, the original row, in the opening section of the piece, and then throughout the course of the piece to use two, at least two of each of the permutations, the retrograde, the inversion, and the retrograde inversion. They were also told to incorporate specific string techniques, things that are specific to strings. So they're supposed to use a minimum of three string techniques along the way, whether it's pizzicato or soltasto or something like that. And they've given a, a rough direction to have sort of a journey of the piece, to have a, an arc of starting slowly, building intensity, and then taking back off in a, in a real broad sense. Anything else that was in the in the direction for the piece? That was kind of it. Make it modern. Make it modern. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Modern. So I would I would step in. Uh, you know, we we did kind of drafts and, and sketches and stuff along over the last couple of weeks, and I would get it. I would step in if it started to get too regular. So <laughs> I, 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 I kind of said specifically, don't make it a dance piece. Don't make it just four four time with a regular repeating rhythm that you can dance to it. It should have modern phrasing, a little, a little bit freer rhythmic approach than traditional, just grooving music. Not that you can't groove, and some of these would do have some nice sections of, of groove and ostinatos. All right, Clara, anything you want to say to them before it starts? Like, um, oh, like what? Well, end whatever you're going to say with how fast it's going to go. I had the MIDI play me back about 90 BPM, and I liked it about how that felt for everything. Um, and there is a colonial notation in the violin. Oh, on the third page. Oh, you got to give them a heads up on that. Yeah. yeah. 
What's the VA? I forget. I don't even know if I know what Trotto means. It's, that's, from what I understand, I did, I've never written for strings before, and I'm not a string player, but it's like flowing with the stick. Well, yeah, so the calling, okay, like, like actually like rubbing those. Like actually out. using yeah. it as the slur, as it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go get my cheap bow. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, I was gonna. I had forgot to ask John because yeah, I thought of it. I was like, I forgot to ask them if they had calling help. I do. Sure I, I brought back up a carbon fiber. Make That's sure good. you have a cheap bow. That's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna ask you to do that, and I forgot. So this is great. Yeah, we talked about that. How if, if you will, to give a heads up to yeah, players. You will encounter people who will just refuse. They won't do yeah. it if they yeah. don't really. Yeah. And if any of you are uncomfortable doing that with the bows you have, yeah. absolutely don't do it. Yeah. No, yeah, this is, you're not getting enough bread today for to <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. no. okay. I put a little asterisk at the bottom, because I know it's not a very, it can't be played very loud, so it's just kind of a rough estimate of dynamics that are written there. Isn't that true? Isn't it like, ooh, ooh, tanto or something like that? Ooh. That's right with a B is the... Two different. Oh, batuto. Notes. What is it? Batuto. Batuto. That's what it is. That if it's that's when it's being bowed with the wood, whereas if it just says calling those, don't you strike it or? Uh, so the batuto is striking. The trato is okay. bowing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. From what I had read, just like colonial by default, when you read it, that is like kind of the more striking motion, mm -hmm. whereas the other one kind of specifies the. Yeah. Bowing yep. with the stick. So everybody's clear which it is. Yeah. I'll get out of the way. That's okay. why I'm sitting over here. <laughs> but I hope I'm able to control myself. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, not particularly, <laughs> I don't think. Um, I would be happy for feedback on like how, if there is some weird notations or like, how to make certain things clear, or like anything I've missed, then that'd be cool. I'd be happy to know that. That's great. All right. Three. Four. <laughs>
It's a good warm up, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take two runs at, at each of them, actually. So, I, I, yeah, yeah, I don't from know either that. side, Cortez for composer, <laughs> composer for Cortez. You can give them feedback too if you want to perform a song. Do you want them to? Do things a certain way, or
in the first violin, there should be, the whole E flat should be slurred together. Oh, just I have it read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Makes sense. My bad. I saw that and forgot to change it. I like how it ends. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Nice yeah. Any uh, feedback as string players or feedback as composers or arrangers? General impressions of the piece for Clara? Clara likes being shredded. <laughs> that's, that's the gig. That doesn't have to be shredding. <laughs> it can be. Something that's a light or breathing. <laughs> yeah. Something that's helpful for us is when we're switching back and forth between techniques. Sometimes it's helpful to have a starter dynamic, even if it's the same as what was happening yeah. previously. I right, realized that when I looked this morning. So like at, at like just on the second system. Like when it goes to pizzicato, oh, I yeah. thought that that would have been. I'm yeah. Like, oh, I should have put a dynamic there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that's a really good note. And then you probably heard there's not actually very di very much dynamic mm -hmm. range possible mm -hmm. in Colangelo. I yeah. noticed that. Yeah. yeah. We're like, I'm gonna get as much yeah. out of this. As yeah. Yeah. I would probably have the now that I've heard it in real life. I probably have at least the second violin, just like regular both. But I like the sound of the. Or you could do weird things like you could start normal and transition mm -hmm. to like where yeah. is that? Okay. Uh, uh, oh, it's on that page. Sorry. Like you could be like and get closer to the bridge. Oh, interesting. Or start normal and then and turn into that. So oh, okay. you can still hear your melodic thing before it turns into something and weird. Into weird and kind of <laughs> just sound. And that could make it give the illusion of dynamics possibly too. Yeah, sure. That's cool. Is that cool. Like trotto, right? Is that what that's yeah. supposed to sound? Mm -hmm. So my thought about the trotto, that might sound more effective with like a string section than with yeah. a single player. Yeah. The colenio can be really effective um, with a regular, the, 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 what, the first violin. That one can work with a one player okay. I think it sounds really effective with like string group playing it. Okay. Yeah. What's um, the famous piece with the. Is it Symphony Fantastique that has oh, yeah, there's the whole, movie. like all the violins I think are doing it? It's just this very mm -hmm. good, it's mm -hmm. the spooky part. Yeah, uh, having the, the part that you wrote, for, this is for string quartet, playing yeah. near. Playing near the that would have been might have yeah. I would have been able to produce more sounds and it would still sound kind of weird. The weird, yeah. yeah, totally. That's cool. I was a little concerned with some of because again I don't know much about anything in general, but strings specifically. Um, like I don't know how there was like a couple lines I had written where it was like immediately from pizzicato to. Um, to like arco and like a single beat that I rewrote because I was like I don't know how reasonable that is to ask without much like transition <laughs> space. Mm -hmm. At this tempo, it's actually pretty fine. Yep. Okay. Yeah. But that's a really good thing to always consider. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Nothing felt rushed to me mm -hmm. as far as tech being able to get from one thing mm -hmm. to the other. Cool. How about a round of applause for Clara? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
All right, so okay, this is Ryan. Good. Ryan, anything you want to say to the group up front? Um, well, about the portamentos right at the beginning, I think maybe the duration of a quarter note would be good. Um, but I don't know, I'm open to whatever you might think would be good. there too as if when Dorito was pits but I saw that I looked down and I saw that cello viola were pits so I guessed that I was still pits. 
I don't think you would need to. I was just freaking out about trying to make sure that I. Yeah. And then I was like, oh my gosh, it's not marked staccato, or I was playing a staccato. I was like, and I was like, that's not right. <laughs> I didn't even realize that I messed that up. So you, it should be fine. I shouldn't. You shouldn't need to rewrite that. I was just panicking. <laughs> another another thing. So in the first violin, in the sixteenth note section, mm -hmm. I I wasn't really sure about how to do the articulation there. I thought it might sound good uh, with each each of those. Um, All separate. Yeah. Either well, what yeah, was the other there. idea that you were having, or what was the? Maybe just slurred. Is that the one we were talking about the other day? Yeah. You like it better, the slur. Yeah. If it's a little, yeah. I wondered a little about, choppy. maybe it could be grouped, you know, or if you see an interesting ways to to group them into like two slurs or just slur the whole thing. Oh. To, you know, we were, we were playing around with how yeah, that little figure that. could be interpreted in a number of different ways. Like you could change the bow on but, irregular but, uh, yeah. parts of the 16th <laughs> and then it will, that could add a different... Or if you want to accent the downbeats, you could just have one sixteenth and then three. So da 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 da. Yep, yep, totally. Mm -hmm. If you oh, just want the cool. downbeat yeah. by itself, yeah, any any combo okay. could work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like what you just played. I, I think I didn't do that because I didn't know like how difficult it would be to. <laughs> true, do that true. No, that's a good point. Oh, yeah. That's cool. So you're playing one stroke for a single sixteenth, and then mm -hmm. the other three are grouped. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, cool. Or you could do slur three, slur two, slur three, slur two, or anything to make the rhythm sound weirder if you want to hide the down. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll leave that up to you to <laughs> however you think it might sound good. But yeah, I mean, other than that, it sounded great. Cool. Should we do one more run? Yeah. yeah. Do you have you any questions for him? I don't. It was pretty clear. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to try it with the da 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 one by itself, three slurred? Sure. Okay, cool. I'll try to remember.
change at the end, even slower at 60, but, but uh, it's, it's fine if you just blow past it. <laughs> Can you see it? Yeah, I just okay. can see the little on the side. And uh, I also did not, um, I think on the technique change to pits, I did not mark your entrance as a piano. On the viol, on the second violin part, measure 16. Oh, I see it written in now. Oh, I just did that right. <laughs> okay, yeah. He's learning to my mistakes. He's like, I'm penciling it in. Yeah, about that. He's learning to adjust. Great, yeah. And then uh, back again, uh, measure measure 24. On the end of 4, that should also be a 4 to entrance on the arc. Okay. Okay. How about uh, 29 in the same part?
when you, all right, uh, let's see, go tell the parts and measure 27, 8, 9, 30-ish. You have these accents, right, but yeah. when you write sim, do you mean the same, the same for the accent? And in, for the, uh, so you get to uh, the full, uh, so the whole note at 34. Okay. I, I don't, that's a little irregular to see them for accents. I would probably just put them on all of them, all of them? just for an easier interpretation. Yeah. I was like, Sim Boeing? Because it could have been the retake. I wasn't sure what it, or if it was the, the just the dynamic. All or of it. it's like a yeah. dynamic end of Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it might, it would just for easy interpretation. Sim right. um, often usually is used for like bow stroke. Mm -hmm. Less of like accent, uh -huh. so more like if you're doing legato or semi staccato or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, nitpicky. It's okay. No, it's uh, it's all right. I I played a lot of the piano <laughs> uh, notation that I use. So. Yeah. <laughs> Would there be a different way of writing that second measure to the end? Like the fermata, because it's. Uh, are you wanting like an extreme blast of sound too before the end? Yeah. Like, right. Or yeah. like really, really crazy long and then blast? Or what do you envision? So, not necessarily like three beats long, maybe just, I could probably written as a whole note, but uh... Or like groove? Like, do you, you do want it to be a long note. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. Even and like to grow the, gradually to through the right. note? Okay. Because like, uh, I feel like you probably wouldn't put a fermata. There would be some other yeah. or something under it. I think it seems fine. Okay. Do you think it's okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are you just thinking like kind of time it together or or what? Is that the question? Well, I was just thinking of if you're ending the note like in an accented, Switch like a blasty way, like then the fermata doesn't really lend to that yeah. thinking. Would you mm -hmm. have a, what do you, I, see. I don't know. I see. Mm -hmm. Just be counted out? Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure how, what I'm thinking, but I know I'm thinking I, something. I felt that, I, I felt what you were feeling too, like, wait, oh, okay, it's this. I was definitely kind of wondering, like, how, I mean, like, if we were rehearsing this piece multiple times, yes. we could make a very clear distinct decision about, like, how long we want that to be, yeah. and mm -hmm. how we're going to shape that crescendo. Yeah. When we're sight reading it, it's a little bit, I was like, okay, I have to kind of keep it out, nobody else too. Yeah, so you're you're welcome to hang, but just so you know, I, I shifted the lap time to ten thirty. So first you're welcome to sit and listen if you like. Are the last two notes in the first violin part supposed to be harmonics still, or should she shift to? Oh, shift. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay. It's all right. Uh -huh. Okay. Good point. Good point. Cool. And like non vibratoed or. Make them warm when I, when I actually play the note. Make it vibrato? Like, yeah, like with vib or just keep the note non vib when it becomes the actual harmonic. note for the non harmonic. Could you show them? So, like, way. of course, a harmonic's only no other choice, right. but. Or. No vibrato. No vibrato. Okay. If you if you can like intensify them. Intensify them, yeah. yeah. More dramatic. Uh -huh. Put yeah, more decimal down there for that. Back to that earlier when you were talking about that how to shape that one. Can you talk a little bit about that? That the a crescendo I think from what I was hearing that maybe it's more effective if it's gradual but right at the end is when it really presents, or, or do you, if it's a long crescendo on a single note, do you try to make it a, a pure straight line of, is that, is that a pre personal preference kind of thing? I think so, that would be like interpretation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're very specific about how, when you, <laughs> shocker, when you write crescendos. If I have a specific sense of what I want, yeah. yeah. But, if you wanted like a really, I don't know, you want to hold the group's hand through it or something, you could like put intermediary dynamics and like mark the 
have a tied note, like, uh, yeah, like I was thinking of, that's overkill, right. but instead like, of like a long note, like, could you have a half note tied to a quarter with a accent oh, yeah. or a sforzando or something that tells us you want kind of a, you want it to end in a right. stingery manner? That's it. Yeah. I, don't, I think that's what my brain is maybe thinking of, but I could be wrong. Oh, since you said sforzando, we have, we're having this for the day about <laughs> yeah. two or three sforzando and forte piano. Oh, yeah. Is there one? <laughs> Yeah, so mm -hmm. Sforzando has more front to the note, a forte piano, like almost like an accent, mm -hmm. and a forte piano, uh, you don't attack with the bow in the same way. You lean into it and then... Or hopefully don't. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Sforzando is more dramatic in its own yeah. 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 Or it has like a hard front to the note, like a cut yeah. sound instead uh, of a... Oh, gotcha. like, yeah. True, true. I would see it more as an accent, kind of. Right. Should we do it again? Let's do yeah. it
Going into the R3, so going into measure 29, if that's good. Just stop there really quick and move. Just stop on beat 4 of 28. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Very good. And then. It won't rotate. Do you think we'll have to do another one or is that okay? We might. Okay. Think, yeah, we might have to do one more. Um, okay, and then at, four, at 49. say before we start for the notation of the rests okay having like double dotted quarter note rests isn't as easy to read as just show like show the beats so you could do like okay. uh, quarter note rest and then in that in that case the, the dotted eighth rests okay or yeah yeah, that's yeah. Right. you'll yeah. get a much better result okay. <laughs> accuracy yeah. okay and then the and in that. measure in measure uh, eight uh, you don't I, I that works like I can read that but um, I would do rather than a dotted half rest okay. I would do a half, half rest and then dotted quarter, quarter. Okay. Like that. Right. Yeah. generally good. the rule is like you don't want to like a good rule of thumb is to like not in 4-4 four, four time not split the, not have a don't go over the middle half middle of the measure okay. show where the middle of the measure is that can make okay. it easier to read don't yeah. be frightened he's going to grab my keys off the desk oh okay <laughs> <laughs> okay sounds good so I had 62. Yeah. Sounds good? Yeah. Can we stop? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, it is, I'm trying to read the pizzicato markings. Oh. Um, there is, which instruments are pizzicato in five? I just want to make sure it's... Violin two, okay, and, and then viola. and then viola on six. Yeah. Okay, so mark the pizzicato over the notes that we're going to start playing pizzicato, and so okay. it's generally marked over it, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. All right. Because right now the way it's written, it looks like it could be like on the, the okay. viola in the score part, anyways. It's it could be like. I thought about it. Yeah, it's like wait. But, okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll do that next time.
Yeah, I was going to say something, but it's all right, it worked. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. And then, just, I guess while we're stopped, uh, Violin 2 and Viola are just supposed to be bits the whole time. Yeah, starting, like, going into, like, the R9 section. Oh, right there. Um, wait, where's the... Oh, oh it's from Peek Here's Yours. Okay. It's hiding. Oh. R9. Okay. Yeah, so I see the ordin ordinary. There's a bunch of, yeah, those, some of those symbols are hard to see. We would expect to see, like, a right above the notes. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, I, I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, that was one of the... <laughs> thanks for letting us know that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, okay, so where so are we still this. pizzicato, then? Until... Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, violin and the other hits for a while, uh, starting at that section. So Probably splitting the beads, so for at 38, for example, you could write an eighth rest and then another eighth rest. Yes. And then that way we can more easily group the, the beads. You know, it's fine. I did actually write it like that in the notation program. I don't know what happened there. Um, can we go around 37? That was my bad. I got confused. Oh, okay, that's fine. I, yeah. All right. I, marks for the main beats so it's yeah I don't right? like I said I don't know why because I, I, I know I was thinking about that I was like I mean you can't like yeah I, I did oh, have those beats outlined I don't know why it printed like that when I oh did it do something weird wait so it's yeah like if you look at like this section <laughs> I mean I, I had the that whole outline but it's a yeah, so you just have to like um, like it, it, that was right. Right. Okay. I mean, that's right, right. but this is yeah. where it ended up. Um, well, <laughs> yeah, considering the, Here, the length right. of the piece and kind of time factor, we just need to plow through. Uh, how about we just skip to 
No. Part of yes. the learning process. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, can we skip to just 48? Because it's pretty nutty. <laughs> I mean, we could try. He, he's well, trying to write it in for me. Maybe it'll work. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can just skip to 48. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, no, no, I mean, it's... I'm sure it sounds cool. It, it, <laughs> right. Piano pieces. Oh, oh, let's take them? Yeah. Oh, okay. Which four do you want to start? Uh, just 48. Just write down it's fine. 48. Okay, got it. So if I just drop out, just keep going, That's and I'll, yeah. I'll find you. Okay. 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 Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Yeah, although I did oh, like okay. it while ago, so I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh. oh, I just, I saw like long notes, and so I was like, oh, that, that must mean Arco. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I was just, yeah, okay. So I guess usually when you do, it's, I mean, I know obviously a long note doesn't mean anything. can't sustain it. Right. Yeah, so okay, I, just I was just doing that. Quick just, interpretation, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah so you'd okay, write so it as like a quarter note. Quarter note, quarter note. Right, okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. It's... All right. Cool. Give a hand for this quartet.